In Colorado, it's estimated nearly 500 bridges are classified as structurally deficient. That means they badly need repair. Well, across the country, more than 47,000 bridges are in poor condition. And that's one reason the work these students are doing is so important. The engineering team from CU Denver is headed to a national competition in bridge building. And it includes a timed construction effort. Karen Morpha was at the practice tonight, and Karen, these students will be building communities in the future. Jim, that's one reason why they spend so many late nights here working in the shop, designing, building, and putting this bridge together for competition. In just minutes, six students from CU Denver can turn dozens of pieces of steel into a 25-foot bridge. My team basically loves structures. Dakota Chauncey, now a civil engineering graduate from CU Denver, leads the bridge building team. He says the idea to compete started a year ago, followed by months of design. From there we decided what the final bridge was going to look like, or what we thought the final bridge was going to look like. Several changes later, their bridge took first in the state competition and third in the region, giving them an opportunity to compete in the national still bridge competition. Teams take their idea into a simulated workspace, and because time is money, they then race to construct it. We feel intense pressure. This yet another new bridge since their last competition. The first go at assembling it wasn't flawless. We just changed the member size and we are having a problem. The second time around, it only took nine and a half minutes. Once completed, it will be put to the test. Organizers say the competition is an opportunity to turn classroom knowledge into a hands-on steel project. Chauncey says he's not even sure if they win anything, but that's not why they do it. We love what we do. Now that bridge has to hold a total of 2,500 pounds. You can see the team still here tonight. They actually leave for competition in Illinois early tomorrow morning. We're live in Denver. Karen Morford covering Colorado First.